Welcome back friends to the shop. Today's video is one of the most requested videos I've ever had and it's a complete dissection of what went wrong with Harbor Freight's new 12,000 pound Badlands Apex. Now let's go back to the very beginning. I did a video on this a couple months ago where we put it on the new truck and pulled out that old rusty frame out of the river and it really did well. We put a really heavy load on it and I hadn't used it since. Fast forward a couple months, two days, three days ago, I hooked it up with a block and tried to pull out an aspen stump and that's when this happened. Now at the time when we were working, I didn't realize that the winch had completely failed like that and we completely, or we continued to use it until we smelt smoke and something burning and then it completely failed. That's when I brought it in and I have it right here. So let's come in close, pull it apart and find out what happened. Harbor Freight contacted me a couple, oh, several months back and said, uh, we want to send you the 12,000 pound winch. We are uh, turning over a new leaf. We're producing a higher quality item. They even told me that they had uh, head hunted some of the engineers from Warren Industries, which is kind of the gold standards for winches, uh, to help them design this. And they also told me that they exceeded the quality uh, of the, according to them, of, of the Warren product, making it even more water resistant, a higher IPX rating. Well, um, that may be true, <laughs> but we can see here we had a catastrophic fail here, failure here of the housing. I worked for Warren Industries right out of high school. I actually worked on the winch lay and I built 8274s and the big 12,000 pound winches. So I'm very familiar with these. And it breaks, it's quite simple how they break down. You have a great big electric motor right here, just a round motor like a starter motor. And then you have a planetary gear reduction set over here with a clutch system. So as this motor turns, it runs a shaft through the drum and then changes gear reduction and turns very slowly. That's what gives you all that strength. So you can break it down into drive side and motor side. The motor side is what completely failed. Now, if you look at this, all this stuff that's cracked here, this is actually just covers for the relays, for the electrical, and this is actually just a cover here for the motor. And we can pull this off, but you can see what happened was there was so much torque on this, the motor was so powerful, the housing, in my opinion here, wasn't strong enough to support it, it wasn't rigid enough, and it basically just destroyed itself by twisting itself and breaking all of this housing. That's what, that, this is the chunk right here that fell off in the original video. We didn't see that, you know, we got it on camera, but we didn't see, Jack and I didn't see it at the time when we were working, but he picked up on something that was smelling really bad. Now, I don't fault manufacturers for having problems, and to Harbor Freight's credit, they watched that video, they immediately contacted me and said, yeah, we'll take care of this, no problem. But it's not that simple. What I mean by it not being that simple, so you know, here's the thing that happened. I heard this with the Vortex products. Remember the, Vor the Vortex, they big optics and things, and they were always a little bit cheaper than Leupold and stuff. And the thing I heard over and over from guys was, yeah, it broke, but it ha they have an amazing warranty. I ran over my binoculars, they gave me a new pair. I threw my hunting rifle off of a rock cliff and they gave me a new rifle scope, right? That, that, that sort of thing, or it just broke. Your, you know, you can't give credit to a company that just has a good warranty. They should have a warranty. That's like just doing what is expected from them. I think automatically any company that sells something that, that they're promoting to be a quality item, I mean, a year at least, right? And if it fails, and the fact that they gave you a new one, I mean, I'm not really um, going to give them a pat on the back for that. That just goes without saying. But there are some items that I don't want that can't fail, right? If something fails, like uh, you get a flat tire on your lawnmower or, or something that's non-critical, it's not that big of a deal. Is it an inconvenience? Yeah, but it's not a big deal. But winches are very different. Winches are going to be used primarily by two types of guys. Either you're hauling cars or you're hauling a payload on a trailer and you're relying upon this for your living, therefore it needs to work, right? Or you find yourself up in a snowbank and situation desperate, or you need to pull someone that's been stuck in a snowbank. You need it to work when it works. And so for this thing to eat itself and to fail like that, I just, I'm, I'm not at all, I, I don't think that that should have happened. And I, there's so many guys in the comments are saying, oh, well, you're not using it the way it's supposed to be used, or you abuse, no, I didn't. 
No, I didn't. I've been winching. I've had a dozen winches. I've had winches on almost every vehicle that I've had, and I've pulled out hundreds of cars. I, I'm not, this isn't my first rodeo with winching. I've always had Warrens. I've never had any other brand, and I've never had a Warren fail apart from just the solenoids. And that's usually just from water and corrosion getting in a lack of maintenance. Never had a catastrophic failure like this. So don't tell me a winch, a winch needs to be designed so that it doesn't destroy itself. A thermal cutoff switch, something in it that will shut itself down to cool it off or whatever so it doesn't do this. But to have the whole housing completely collapse and fail like that, it seems to me anyway, in my opinion, that that is a serious design problem. I have never hated on Harbor Freight. I haven't been a big fan of their stuff. Like I said, I will go there if I need to buy like a service tool or something specialty that I might use once or twice. I'm not going to go buy Snap-on or some premium thing. But this here being marketed as a premium product, we're turning over a new leaf where we're competing with Warren, not in this sample. And not only that, Look at this here. So what happened, look, so this is a plastic cover that covers these three big contacts, right? This is how power gets from the relays to the motor. Well, this is a plastic cover. What happened, that this is a pretty tight fit on here. Who's calling me in my video? Mrs. Ranguistar is breakfast ready. We're almost done here. So what happened, that because these were so tight here, when this whole thing shifted and rotated, this plastic came in contact with this, which was exceedingly hot, and it started that melting that plastic. Wouldn't take much more for this to start on fire, right? And that's tucked up underneath a brand new truck. What seemed like a great value at, what, a third the price of a 12,000 pound Warren isn't such a great value if this thing were to catch on fire. Now this didn't catch on fire. I don't know if it would have, but when I have plastic that's melting and smoking, possibility is there, right? And here, we're going to save a few bucks by putting this on the front of a, what, a $90,000 truck? Maybe not the best idea if this is what we're looking at, right? Just something to consider. So I, I could never put this back on the truck. I could never put another Harbor Freight on, uh, personally, on any of my vehicles unless it was just something that was just a beater old trailer for hauling junk around. But uh, I'll, I'll go back to Warren. I don't care. I just, it's just, I need it when I need it. Uh, I just can't have this, and it's, it's really too bad. I, was, I hoped that this was going to be a good option, uh, but it's um, mine failed. And I, I just don't know where there's any fix to this apart from a whole redesign, but I'm not an engineer. But I do know uh, if something doesn't work, then I don't want it. So I'm going to go back to Warren. So that is an update on the video. I would say, in my opinion, not ready for prime time definitely not ready for hard service and it's a shame because um, just a few cut corners I would rather pay more and have more quality I'd rather have a better controller that wasn't so chintzy and cheapo feeling I'd, it's I mean what is the point of going to all the trouble and designing something and just missing that last five percent getting that last five ten percent wrong cutting a corner somewhere I mean goodness. I mean, if they, they copy a lot of stuff anyway, why not just copy it? <laughs> Something that's already worked, but I don't know. What do I know? I'm not an engineer. I'm a multi-million dollar corporation. But that's it. Um, my opinion on this is um, I, wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't recommend it anymore, and I'm going to go back to Warren. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Keep us in your prayers. We'll see you all on the next video.